Now let's start adding some content to our posts and do some very simple joins. So the first thing I'm going to do is an insert into post. This time we are going to specify that we want the title and a category ID. And the values are going to be, I don't know, let's say there's a political posting and it will have a category ID of one, right? Because we know that politics is one up here. And I'm just going to create a couple more of these. And then I'm going to create another one and this is going to be more politics. So it's also going to have a category of one and you're going to see what I mean when I say one to many. And then there's going to be some kind of international news which will of course be category two. And then we're going to have something related to technology. Uh, new iPhone apps. Could you need any more iPhone apps? I don't think so. But anyways. Uh, then we also want to have something about entertainment. I don't know. Academy Award winning movies. Let's try that. Four. And... Let's just put something in about sports. Olympics 2010. And that should be good. We won't put anything in the other category. So at the top, I did a drop table. Now, if I do drop table category, it'll say fine. But then if I run it again, then it's going to say error, you know, 1051, unknown table category. So in order to get around this, in order to be able to easily paste in our SQL script as we're building it, I'm going to add if exists to this wonderful call. So it'll say drop table if exists category and drop table if exists post. So now when I select all this and paste it into the MySQL command line and I do a la select star on post, I'm going to have the various posts. Notice that the content right now is null and it's going to stay null until we start um, looking at the MySQL search engine at the end of this series. But you could basically put anything you want in there. So we have the title, we have the content, we have the category ID and then we have select star from category and we have our six categories. Now let's start looking at how we can join the two pieces of data together. And this is where the one-to-many thing becomes a little more interesting. So let's say I wanted to get all of the politics postings, right? Then I could do something like I could do a select star from, let's see how we could do this. Actually, let's just start with just a simple join. So if I wanted to just join the posts to the categories, then it would be as simple as saying select star from post P left join category C on P dot category ID equals C dot ID. Now let me just explain this for a second. So the le select star from post P I think we can I think you've seen this before. Basically what we're doing is we're just saying select every column from the table post. Now this little p here means that I want to actually start referring to the post table as just p. It's an alias. It's a shortcut. So that's select star from post p. The left join is what we're going to be doing where we're basically just taking one table and then gluing it to another table. And we're going to be left joining with the category table and it's going to have a shortcut of c and we're going to glue the two together using p.categoryid, which is the post category ID, when the post category ID is equal to the category ID. So it's very important that the two line up. So if I hit enter, then I'm going to get essentially the join that I was talking about, where we have the political postings and their category name and we have international news and it's got the international category and we've got the new iPhone apps and they're in the technology section 
and the Academy Award winning movies and so on and so forth. So that's a just a quick introduction into left joins. We're going to be looking at how they compare to outer joins and or what what's called a right join. A left join is also called an inner join in the next video. And then we're going to start looking at constraints. I'm John Lebensold, and thanks for listening.